that's okay because she is mic'd up. It wouldn't go the other way. Go. So anyway, let's just talk about this though. This table represents a lot. There's a lot of football love on this table. Liza has a lot of football love in her heart because when we celebrate the draft, she's going to have a dog in the fight. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. But let's say you want to have a party and you want to get a bunch of friends together, watch the draft. Maybe you have a, a team that's a favorite. I think mm -hmm. we see on this table Obviously. yours. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what are your tips? Well, first and foremost, this is a big year. So it's the 100th year of the NFL, the 25th season of the Jaguars. So that's a reason to celebrate in itself. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So some fun things on the table. You know, I used flags. So you can, it's a dual purpose. You can use it as a tablecloth and then fly it at your home. Using a flag as a tablecloth. And they wipe off so easily, Easy, too. exactly. You can spill on them. They're weatherproof, so certainly champagne-proof. Mm -hmm. um, other things, I've got a little bit of history here. This is actually an original helmet from the first year of the Jaguars. So I like to bring in some authentic items to kind of make it a little more exciting and interesting. I found a um, yearbook, which was the first year of the Jags as well. Ah. So bringing back those things to commemorate the 25th season. And the draft really has come a long way. When it started out years and years and years ago, it was just people on telephones. Well, actually, mm -hmm. it was paper at first and telephones. And now it's kind of like the Oscars. Mm -hmm. It's fashion. It's pop culture. There's so much there. So when you talk about having a draft party, there's so much behind it. Sure, there's so much more to watch. Absolutely. It's not just names being called. There's a lot of um, practice. Some mm -hmm. of the players, you know, they'll have multiple hats available to them. And then they'll figure out, okay, how am I going to walk out on stage? And again, it's very emotional. So let's talk for a minute about this on the table, the champagne. And by the way, I just want to say candlesticks for elevation yes. for the food genius mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. But you've got champagne on the table. Let's say, I'm just going to throw this out there as a could be. <laughs> let's say your son, Kyle, Liza Chung, let's say your son Kyle is potentially someone that's going to be walking out on that stage. Yes. So you would want to have champagne you handy. Bet. You bet. What is that like as a mom of somebody <laughs> um, that's about to be in the draft? It is surreal. So I feel like I'm in a fog. I still think that he's this little kid playing for junior development football. Um, I do miss all the Friday night lights. And, and of course, college was exceptional. So exciting. Such good friends. Um, so this is another big step. And, you know, as a mom, you are a little bit nervous. And to see how huge these men are that he probably will be playing against, um, I'm excited, I'm nervous, it's just everything clumped together. And he's a big guy himself, he mm -hmm. also has some speed, yes. and he's very versatile. And yes. when it comes to being drafted, well his stock mm -hmm. is going to just keep on rising out until draft day. I think, it has, been. I think yeah. it has been, there's been a lot of interest. He had a great pro day, so he put up 31 reps, 225 pounds. pounds. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> very, very <laughs> impressive. Um, very he ran cool. well, he's, he's very agile. So. Well, let's yeah. hope so that we... So I think Coughlin. That's what I was just going to say. We've got all the yes. decorations. You are wearing your teal and gold. I'm not anything here yet. She's exactly. even got her Jaguar shoes on. She's got her teal, her gold. We kind of ruined the look by me forgetting to give you your mic underneath. That's okay. But anyway, um, I'll own that. But, but the tablescape is beautiful. Thank you. The fact that you can use gold and glitter and mm -hmm. still serve typical football fare yeah. is also a really creative mm -hmm. way to go. It's a reason to celebrate. It's a very big year, so might as well make the most of it. And we've got Nick Foles. We're pick number seven, so the stars are aligning. It's it's pretty exciting. It really is. And again, we've been just really on a break from football for such a long time. We're so excited to dive back into yes. it, celebrate it. And this is one of those things we were talking about. You know, it's a social occasion. And even if you're not a huge football fan, it's still so fun because a lot of pop culture. Exactly. So here's the thing. If you want tips like this, you want to see a beautiful Instagram page, you want to be a part of Liza's world, <laughs> people can find you easily on social media, Liza Chung. And I'm assuming that's also a place where we can find out how things are going to go in the draft for Kyle. You bet. Even okay. though he told, he told me, told me, Mom, no social media, but that's impossible. <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> no, no, that's there's impossible. a rule for moms. Yeah. Special exactly, rule. Yeah. Liza, thank you You're so welcome. much. We'll be right back.